One Punch Man is going on break. That's part of the news that we got from One and Use Game Rider themselves this morning in place of the newest chapter of the manga. But there is another detail in this message from them that explains why exactly they're taking this break and why it both really sucks because we're not going to be getting a new chapter for a while, but it also might be a good thing. So as many of you manga readers probably already noticed by now, we didn't get a new chapter today. Instead, we got this single page message from One and Murata, essentially thanking everyone for enjoying the manga so far, but unfortunately they have to take a little break for a bit in order to go back and redraw and touch up pretty much every chapter that's been in this ninja arc we've been in currently. That's the second bit of important news in this message. They even point out the exact number of chapters they're going to be redrawing, and that's starting from the chapter titled Teninto. I don't really want to give a chapter number because depending on where you read it, it's different, and now that we're going to be getting redraws, these chapter numbers probably aren't going to matter anymore. If you've been a One Punch Man reader for a while now, you are no stranger to redraws and retcons. Back in like 2020 or 2021, we got like this several month stretch where many chapters of the Monster Association arc were being redrawn, retconned, switched around in their order, which is why we have like these funky chapter numbers depending on where you read it. Now, this is technically a hiatus in the sense that we aren't getting a new chapter for probably at least two months. Maybe a month, we'll see, but we're not going to be getting a chapter for a bit. So no new content means hiatus, right? Or a brief break at least. Well, with One Punch Man, it's a little different because like I said, much like with 2020 or 2021, during this break, we're going to be getting changes to previous chapters of the manga. And at times that includes brand new content that we haven't gotten before. So a perfect example of this is the retcon or redraw, whatever you want to call it, of the fight between Monster King Orochi and Saitama. I always kind of had a preference for the original fight, but the changed up fight was pretty cool too, giving Orochi this new crawfish looking form. But most importantly, it gave us the revelation of the god mural on the wall. That mural that has the altar that Orochi originally thinks is for him, until the crumbling cave reveals a much larger picture, a much larger figure. And that's technically the first like official time we see God, I think. So that was a huge change from the manga, right? If we got a retcon like that in this ninja arc, we're, we're going to pay attention. And it's almost going to be like a new chapter to us because it's brand new information that changes the story completely. But on the other hand, there's strings of retcons and redraws, like the infamous ones from the fight between Child Emperor and Phoenix Man. Here the fight gets redrawn several times, with like very minimal changes being made. It's mostly stylistic stuff. And Phoenix Man gets completely nerfed at the very end, not obtaining his full brilliant eagle form. Atomic Samurai also had a move called the Focused Atomic Slash that got removed from the Monster Association arc. It's just little things like that that either make things worse or better or don't change it at all. But that being said, I honestly think this new string of redraws and retcons potentially coming up is definitely a good thing when taking a look at what we've been getting recently in the manga. Look, Murata's art is always going to be S tier. Like Even on his bad days, it's still incredible art. But I don't know if you guys agree with me, but lately in the last like five or six chapters, we've gotten a noticeable dip in quality in terms of art and also pacing of the chapter themselves. A big part is due to the fact that these past few chapters have been like 15, 13, at most like 19 pages. When we're used to 30, 40 page chapters, seeing as how One Punch Man is a bi-weekly manga. So that alone has made this current ninja arc feel like it's been dragging out for such a long time. But along with that, I feel like the general pacing and writing of this arc has been definitely adding to that feeling as well for me. Like, I don't know, I just feel like not that much has happened for this current ninja arc to justify having six to seven to eight chapters of quality content in it. Ideally, with this new string of redraws or possible retcons, we're going to see these chapters be combined in some sort of way and rearranged to give us a better flow of the story and give us that feeling of high stakes that I feel like we really should have right now. I mean, the freaking ninja god pretty much is fighting Flashy Flash and Sonic and Blast just appeared to take him on, now knowing that he was his former, like, close friend and partner. So it's personal for Blast this time. Like, we should be jumping out of our freaking seats waiting for the very next chapter. But in all honesty, and you might not agree with me on this, but I've just been feeling kind of lukewarm with, like, the general tone of this arc. The stakes just don't feel nearly as high as they should. This arc so far is definitely in dire need of some restructuring, in my opinion. I mean, if it was just left alone and we just got redraws of certain scenes and certain fights possibly, maybe that would be kind of cool, but it honestly would leave me kind of disappointed because the slight dip in art isn't really the problem here, right? As I said before, even a bad day for Murata is the best day for most mangakas. But I mean, you can't blame the guy either for the slight dip in artwork because he's been working on so many stuff recently, like his own animation studio, and he's like apparently exercising a bunch right now. Like Murata's all 
all over the place, so he deserves a break, and he really does deserve to take the time to give us his best work. I think he's earned that much in this long stretch of what, like 200 chapters of manga's been going on now, giving us heavy hitting after heavy hitting chapter in the Monster Association arc. But as of right now, the exact number of chapters that are going to be retouched or redrawn is eight. But I have a feeling that some of these chapters are going to end up being combined, because again, a lot of them are much shorter chapters than we're supposed to be getting. So it's probably going to all amalgamate to five chapters. Now, what I'm hoping we're going to be getting here is a much more prolonged fight between Sonic and Flashy Flash. I always thought the one that they had before all this Ninja God stuff was way too short, especially compared to the webcomic. Maybe they just did that because there's a much larger fight between them coming later. That would be fine in that case, but I still feel like it could have been a little bit longer. And also, I'm hoping we get some added content to give us like a cutaway to Saitama, Blast, and Monaco so we can get a good idea of where they've been prior to Blast leaving and showing up there with the Ninja God and Sonic and Flashy Flash. I'm still a little bit confused as to where they went after them and Flashy Flash split up, but touching on that briefly without disrupting the pacing of everything that's going on around it, I think would be a good thing. As I said earlier, something that Murata likes to do when he retouches these chapters is give us some redesigns of certain characters or maybe change up their movesets a little bit. It would be pretty cool if he ends up giving Empty Void a few more moves to show off before Blast shows up, because I'm assuming as soon as Blast shows up, he's just going to wipe the floor with him, right? So it's likely we're not going to see much more from Empty Void before he gets pieced up by Blast. So seeing some more moves prior to him showing up would be great. And one thing I would be really excited for is getting some more God information, some more God content. Like when we got that whole restructuring of the Saitama versus Garo fight with Cosmic Fear Garo showing up out of nowhere. And as I said before, the God mural stuff from the fight between Saitama and Orochi, that we have seen some instances that Murata throws in some very crucial and vital information that we didn't have before. After going back and redoing a chapter, that would probably be best case scenario for us because that way we get some new content. Even though we're not getting a complete new chapter, it'll at least kind of feel like it because we're getting some groundbreaking new information that we didn't have before and it'll at least give us something to talk about until we get an actual like chapter release. That's kind of the best case scenario for me. I know this might be a long shot, but I also really, really hope they change up that whole scene where Empty Void makes his initial entrance, like where all the other fallen ninjas guts like burst out of their bodies and form the body of Empty Void. I thought that was so freaking cool and it just blew my mind because we usually don't see violent stuff like that happen in the One Punch Man manga. And then it all just gets undone once we find out that this was all Genjutsu and he was just casting an illusion on Flashy Flash and Sonic. That was kind of a buzzkill for me, not gonna lie. As I said before though, I think this break is generally a good thing because the quality of the past few chapters can be improved and also Murata gets a nice break to kind of, you know, I guess relax a little bit more than he normally would. So he can come back fresh for this up and coming awesome battle between Blast and Empty Void. Didn't want to make this video too long, I just wanted to give you guys this update because normally I'm updating you with a brand new chapter and unfortunately I can't do that today. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like love this break that's coming or do you hate it? I'm assuming most of you are going to hate it, but let me know your thoughts anyway. Have an absolutely wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever, and I will see you guys in the next video.